last year here in New York City. <laughs> yeah. Now, can you briefly explain what CO2 therapy for the skin is? Because you're really good at breaking this stuff down and how it differs from other skincare treatments. So you think of CO2, normally you think of uh, poison, you know, the oxygen was good and the, the CO2 was bad and that's the way our bodies use it. But that's not the case. Our bodies love, 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 love equilibrium. And so when there's too much oxygen, we end up breaking down all the tissue there. Your, your carbon, uh, carbon dioxide is essential in keeping open all the little microvascularities. So that means you get more blood flow. And so when the oxygen from either inside or outside gets too high, we start to age our skin really rapidly and it breaks down our skin and the carbon dioxide, when it comes in, it kind of brings a couple of friends with it. One of the friends it brings in is this superoxide di dimutase. And this superoxide dimutase is this enzyme, which is tied to everything good about staying young. So inside of us, we have this superoxide dimutase, but when the oxygen levels get too high, there's not enough carbon dioxide, it goes away and immediately wounds get worse, our collagen breaks down, the skin itself doesn't rejuvenate quite as fast. So the concept with, with a carbon dioxide is we put this carbon dioxide therapy, it brings carbon dioxide and you put it on the skin. Immediately, the carbon dioxide moves through the skin. And when that happens, we bring the blood into the area. And then there's this thing called the Bohr effect. It's absolutely boring to listen to, but it's brilliant on what this man found. And that is that the more of the CO2 you have in the area, the more the hemoglobin releases its oxygen, which then feeds the skin, increases the number of fibroblasts that you have, increasing the amount of elastin and collagen you have, rejuvenating your skin in a natural way rather than filling it full of stuff and let it last for a little while and then have to refill it with stuff. That's a great explanation. We can now add scientists to your many list of <laughs> titles. That was a great breakdown. So what you're saying is carboxytherapy is the therapeutic use of CO2 gas to regenerate the tissue in the skin. And when the gel is mixed, CO2 gas is formed and the gel holds the gas into the skin. I'm, I'm a good student. I'm listening. And then what you're saying is that the body responds by rushing oxygen-rich blood to the area applied. And this brings nutrition, hydration, and even helps remove waste from the skin, leaving our skin brighter, more hydrated, and smoother. Did I get it right? Absolutely. And then it leaves, these, it leaves this enzyme behind to continue to do that process and it protects that enzyme. So that enzyme sticks around even longer and we lose that enzyme, that superoxide dismutase over time and then carbon dioxide will totally bring it back, which means not just now are you getting treatment, but it sticks around to 14 to 18 hours. I love it. And the treatment is the fastest way really to regenerate your skin and keep it looking, feeling youthful, in my opinion, uh, based on what the options are available right now, even over the counter. Now, 